Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates. I'm now back from vacation and I thought it was time to recap the news from this week that I haven't covered yet on my channel because there's been quite a few news drops since D23 that has given us some more details about what we can expect from Battlefront 2 and future reveals. So let's get straight into it. First of all, this Wednesday during the Star Wars show they officially revealed Kylo Ren's new ship the TIE Silencer. And this is most likely a ship that will be in Battlefront 2 because as you might remember from the pre-order bonus it says that we will get a first order ship upgrade but they haven't specified exactly what that ship upgrade is or for which ship it is. And now that they've actually went out and revealed the TIE Silencer it wouldn't surprise me if they soon revealed that the secret first order ship is indeed Kylo Ren's TIE Silencer. We don't get a ton of details about the ship other than the fact that it has blaster cannons and missiles which most of the ships in Battlefront currently has. Moving on, a new image was also revealed from Vardos, Aiden Versio's home planet. This image was actually found on an article at StarWars.com, however, now that I'm back home and wanted to check it out, it seems like they've removed the image for some reason, but since it's already on the internet, why not talk about it? It doesn't really reveal anything new in terms of the stuff on Vardos, however, it does show us Vardos in another setting, because at this point it seems to be during night almost, with rain and a lightning storm taking place in the background as you can see. And lightning looks very different compared to how it looks on Earth, which I thought was pretty cool. But again, this could give us an idea that we will actually be playing on Vardos in different settings, not just the normal one we saw before, but during the night, or at least during the sunset, and with some rain and lightning storms in the background, to change up the background a little bit and not have the same thing all over. Moving on to some big news regarding the reveals for Battlefront 2. As you probably know, the next big reveal will be at Gamescom. And uh, EA posted a new article on their website detailing what we can expect from EA at Gamescom. First of all, they will be having an EA live show on August 21st at 6.30 p.m. CET or 9.30 a.m. PDT, where you will be the first to see new gameplay, live matches and a few surprises as well. And then there will be hands-on gameplay between August 22nd to 26th, where they have nearly 400 gameplay stations available for both Battlefront 2, Need for Speed Payback, FIFA 18, Battlefield 1 in the name of the Tsar, as well as a couple of mobile games. And they also mentioned that some of the top content creators and influencers in the world will be producing content right from the EA Business Lounge, capturing gameplay footage, making stories and streaming directly to you from the show floor, with content coming from Battlefront 2 and so on. So that sounds very similar to EA Play and I will most likely be there myself in person to hopefully be able to provide you with similar content to what I did at EA Play with a live stream, with some content and all that kind of stuff. I don't have any official word on that. But at least that's my hope, because I thought it was a lot of fun to be able to actually do a live stream from location, especially since Dennis Branval joined me as well. But now you know what to expect there, and just to remind you, they have said that we will be getting a look at Starfighter Assault, which is the Space Battles game mode at Gamescom, so it seems like that's gonna be the main focus there. Most likely we'll get a trailer and some gameplay to show off, but... Although I'm excited to see space battles, I also really hope that they have something for those of us who prefer to stay on the ground. So although space battles might be the main focus, I'm hoping maybe a new planet, maybe a new game mode or some new hero would be shown off. At least that would make Gamescom perfect for me. But that is all the news I have for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and as always, may the force be with you.